yeah um to be honest a little not too happy about losing 1-0 uh, they didn't get so many chances, to be honest, uh, in uh, or like not so many shots in a box, and they got a few, and they scored from one, and I felt like we had a a little drop in our game for like some minutes, thirty minutes, and the rest, first fifty minutes, and the rest of the game was ours, and we created a lot of chances, but we just couldn't <laughs> score. Michael, questions? Yeah, you had a, a different uh, center back partner tonight in Leicester. Uh, how do you feel like you worked together tonight? Um, yeah, we haven't played together uh, before. So, of course, it was new and a uh, uh, different player than Abby. Uh, but I felt like the more we played, the more we found each other. So I think it was it was okay game uh, from us too. Uh, but obviously, we haven't played so much together. So, yeah. Ellie, this was the first time that uh, that this club has, in an NWSL uh, competition, had a game with something at stake. Where if you win or you even get a draw, you get to to clinch a spot in the semifinals, which I know is the goal uh, for this team. How did you feel like you and your teammates got up for it and prepared for for a game that you all knew was was a big game? I think we prepared well. Uh... Like I said, I felt like we had the game under control, um, but we just couldn't score. Um, we still have uh, actually everything in our hands, which is good. Uh, obviously, it would have helped. We could have got a point today or points, but we just need to focus for the next week's game. Uh, so you talked about that little little drop uh, in the first half where where you know Houston kind of was in, in control for a good you know five to five to ten minutes. Is, is there something that you can kind of take a look from from those ten minutes and try to do differently for the for the next match in in Kansas City? Yeah, I think it was mostly our press. Uh, as everyone know, we like to press high, and now we were a little out of position, and we were like kind of pressing high but not pressing high or someone was pressing so the next one was late which created that we didn't get pressure on the ball and that's that I think created gaps between our lines and for them to put an easy ball behind or between our lines so I think yeah. we need to fix that when to realize when we cannot give a good press so just to stay together or we go with a whole team whole team yeah do, do you feel like you you missed uh abby's presence on kind of in in that sequence where you know things look maybe like you said just a little bit disorganized where somebody was pressing forward and somebody wasn't of course abby brings a lot of like uh she talks a lot so maybe in that case um uh we can we can say that we missed her um so Yes and no, I think we still handled the game pretty well. And like I said, it was the one drop, uh, which we can't let happen in the next game, actually. Did you think uh, Nadia's shot was going in, Ellie, from the angle on TV? I mean, that thing had incredible bend on it. It was a great save by by Campbell, um, but... It feels like Nadia is, is super close to getting that first goal since coming back. Yeah, I I thought it was going to go in. Uh, all the points for the goalie, uh, it was a game save. Because um, I think it was a perfect shot, but it was also a perfect save. So, yeah, that pissed me off a little, but <laughs> hopefully not the worst next game. <laughs> All right. Anything else, uh, Michael? No, I'm good. All right. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you. Do you want me to end this or? Uh, Jordy Backett's coming in if you want to just mute it on the screen.